Hey everyone, this video I want to introduce my super delicious noodle and also very easy, very quick meal to you guys. Before I start to tell you all of the ingredients, number one, I want to explain about the different types of noodle usually we cook in China. Uh, you also can find them in Chinese or Asian supermarket, no problem. And actually today I'm going to cook with this type of noodle. You can find it in a frozen area. This one actually can stay you know, in the fridge for a long time, no problem. You can see this one is much thicker, like this style. We're going to boil it with actually a lot of water. Because this one will absorb water. And usually when we cook this kind of thick style noodle, we usually pour some paste, which is the way today I'm going to show you guys. We don't really put it into like a chicken soup or chicken broth to make it like a soup style noodle, it's different. Which is the type usually we cook with the, the soup noodle, which is a thinner one like this style. Like this way. This one is much easier to cook, actually not really absorb a lot of water and it's excellent, delicious, very good for the soup style. Well, let me tell you the, something also about the taste difference. Like this slim one, actually, because it tastes very, very soft and tender, it truly mixes well together with the soup. So you really can, how to say, not really chew on this noodle, but really enjoy just suck it in. <laughs> I really don't know how to say it anyway. This type is more, how to say, like Italian style. Actually, thousand years ago, along the Silk Road, Chinese uh, very early time merchant merchants men, they carried the Chinese style noodle all the way uh, to the Middle East first, and later on uh, to Italy. That is also the origin from Italian noodle. It's originally from Chinese noodle. That's the reason why these two actually taste a little bit same. Uh, or I can say same or. Um, that's also the reason why you can understand about when you cook Italian noodles, spaghetti, pasta at home, well, you put it into a soup? No, right? You pour the sauce on the top. That's the way you enjoy it, right? So this is uh, the noodle, um, what I made and what I'm going to cook today. Anyway, um, so um, today's uh, noodle meal is very simple, easy. Let's go through the ingredients again. Some vegetable. The first one is soy, soybean uh, sprout. Actually, it's just a handful. I cleaned it already. And this one, cucumber. This type of cucumber you can find it in the Asian market. It's not the, the one um, in the Walmart or HEB. Because the American style cucumber, you know, the short one, but the peel is so thick. Um, is not really ideal for this type of uh, noodle vegetable. So you can get this long cucumber from Asian market. It's much more, um, how to say, uh, more crunchy, uh, and the peel is very thin. And usually we eat it at home, like mix it together with uh, noodle in a cold way, or we can dip it into this kind of bean paste. Just eat like that, it's very tasty and also very I would say crunchy when you chew on it, a lot of uh, you know juice from the cucumber itself. And this one is yeah, two sticks of the uh, spring onion I cut into small pieces. I mean, uh, same for cucumber, actually for two of us, we just need a half of the cucumber. You cut it into the slices, it will be good enough. And this one is the pork mince. Actually, we don't need that much. We just need the two tablespoons, will be good enough. And noodle, uh, and of course you need some vegetable oil. And our key thing of this delicious noodle paste, that is the bean paste. Again, you can find it from the Chinese supermarket. Let me open it for you. You can see inside is uh, like this. It's actually made of soybean. And we are going to cook this soybean. Honestly, this bean paste, you can eat directly. I mean, just like you use any other vegetable you like to dip the ranch sauce. This is like a Chinese ranch sauce. Of course, it's different taste. I mean, that is the way we usually eat it. But usually I love to cook it again because when you heat it up and recook it, this bean paste will more thicker taste and more delicious and also more more moisture when you eat it together with a noodle. So let's uh, rock and roll. Okay, we heat up one pot of water. First thing we're going to just uh, boil quick boil this uh, uh, soybean sprout and the other side you can see I heat up another deeper pot for the noodle later you need to put uh, a lot of water because like what I said this noodle will absorb a lot of water and that noodle usually need to boil it in the boiling water around four to five minutes 
So you can see after this one reboil, that's good enough. You can just turn off this side and uh, get your soybean sprout out and leak out the water. So later on we are going to mix this one into our noodle. Well, if you don't like the uh, soybean sprout, you also can uh, use the carrots. Just cut it them also into slices. Again, same thing to boil it and make it ready for the noodle later. When the water starts boiling, put the noodle inside of it. So again, it will take you four to five minutes. What I'm saying about to use a deeper uh, pot holding more water inside of it so you can see the reason why. Again, this noodle can absorb a lot of water. It's very different from the other, you know, instant noodle or the noodle I just showed you. The other side, we're going to start to cook or bean paste. Heat up a pan. You don't really need a big pan, actually, just a small pan will be good enough. When you heat up the pan, put a vegetable oil inside of it. The first thing I'm going to put in will be our pork. Just like what I said, two tablespoons will be good enough, just a little bit enough. like this. Keep on rolling that way. This side we're going to cook our bean paste. This bean paste is very very tasty and also very soggy. You can see like this. It's very soggy taste. So again I don't really need much. Like two of us, like two tablespoons will be good enough. Remember lower down your fire of your stove to be medium is very important and then just keep it stirring up smell the bean paste. The taste already come out. I don't know any of you ever tried the Peking duck either in Chinatown or if you really really have been to China. Um, the Peking duck, you, we have a very special Peking duck sauce that really, the paste really make the Peking duck taste gorgeous and beautiful. And I, I remember um, one time I asked the very famous chef from the very famous Peking duck restaurant and asked him why the bean paste, uh, the Peking duck paste uh, I bought from the grocery store. It tastes very different from the one from the restaurant uh, because they said because you forget to reheat it up, steam it up, make the paste uh, more thicker taste and make the taste really come out. That can be uh, better, especially for this Chinese version of the paste. Well, when this uh, paste and everything just mix well together, you can see your pork is also good cooked like this. A little bit bubble up. Simmer for you know, three seconds, it's actually ready, so we can turn off for the paste. The paste is ready, we are right now just wait for our noodle, like this. 
Well, after it's been boiled for you know four minutes, it's actually ready. So how to check whether this noodle is ready or not? Very easy. Come here. Use your chopstick, pick up a noodle, and just squeeze it like this. Easy to be squeezed and broke like that. Oops. <laughs> I mean like this way. And then that is ready. If you do not know how to do that, just pick it up and eat it. So let me get it up for you and check about how we mix it together, all right? All right, I just get my noodle out. So um, I also suggest you get a bigger bowl because you are going to mix them together if you do not want to splash everything everywhere. So that would be a better way. And then uh, we are going to put our vegetable on top of it. You know, just all of the fresh vegetable things, whatever you like. And also some of this. Just like this. And then time for our bean paste. It smells so good. Yep, just like this. And then you just mix it while you eat it. Um, so usually sometimes like in summertime it's so hot. I usually like to after I boil the uh, uh, the noodle and get it out, I immediately put it into the cold water, so cool it down, and then dry the water, leave the water out and put the noodle in. And you know, in the hot summer, you eat some cold noodle, it's just so appetizing and just delicious. And cold time, you know, just get it directly and mix with all of your bean sauce like this, and mix them together, and then just enjoy your noodle. So this is uh, uh, my recipe for this Chinese noodle, if you're interested in other any other kinds of Chinese recipes or soup noodle, let me know, leave your comment down below. And also come to my personal blog down below, uh, come to check other recipes I share with you, all of the easy cook for Chinese recipes and also very healthy recipes. Thank you for watching, bye bye.